Hi folks, Fuzz here, welcome to a fairly quick Dragon Quest XI video today. I'm going to be showing you a pretty simple trick, but actually really useful when you want to gain a load of experience and level up. So it's a way of forcing Metal Slimes into the battle. For this you are going to require the Hero, Sylvando and Jade, or to have Pep State active at the same time. So the best thing to do is once one goes into pep state, put them into the uh, inactive party or the, the back row, whatever you want to call it, so that they're not going to go through their pep turns. And then when you've got all three in pep state, bring them then into the active party. So I'm going to show you now an example as to how this works here. Okay, so you will need to have Jade in the party for this to work. So until you recruit her, you won't be able to do this trick. And once that's happened, you just need to get her along with, as I mentioned, the Hero and Sylvando into their pet modes. And once you've done that, bring all three of them into the active party, which is what I'm doing here, and then enter into a battle on the field. And I recommend trying to find a battle with quite a few enemies in it. Because if the trick works, then every single enemy is going to be converted into a metal slime of some kind. So, for the sake of this example, uh, I didn't actually prat about too much trying to find, you know, a huge amount of enemies. So, I think we get three here. But, yeah, by all means, try and find more than that if possible. Don't forget, guys, you can pull a few enemies together uh, in the field so that when you enter combat with them all close by, you might get about two sets of enemies then together as well. Right, first thing I'm going to recommend is making sure you select everyone to follow orders. That'll stop anybody killing the enemies prematurely. And when it comes round to Jade's turn in battle, you're going to select the Electro Light Pet Power. Now, something to note is this doesn't always work. There is a chance of spawning other monsters instead, unfortunately, which of course means you won't get the good amount of experience. So it might be worth just making sure you've got an auto save handy before you go ahead and uh, do this. Just in case it doesn't work, you can reload and have another stab at it. Fortunately, it did work first time for me here. And as you can see, those three enemies we just uh, summoned or fought against have actually now turned into two Metal Slimes and one Liquid Metal Slime. And the Liquid Metal Slimes are perhaps the rarest. So if you see those, make sure you kill them first before they escape. And the reason for that is they give a ton of experience. Now the other Metal Slimes are going to give experience as well, of course. Uh, but as always, they do try and escape if you don't kill them in time, as you see there. Uh, so just try and hit them with your abilities that are pretty good so having dual wielding is a good way of killing slime since you get two chances of getting a critical strike with each attack and also jade's ability there uh, has a good chance of critical striking as well and that's all there is to it so it's just a case now of getting those three party members back into uh, pep state once more and we can have another stab at it and there we go, look, 12,000 experience at level 28 is fantastic. Every party member is guaranteed to get at least one or two levels uh, with that amount of experience at this level. And as you actually level up and get higher level, you actually have a higher chance of spawning the Metal Slimes. And not only that, but you get more experience from killing them as well. So it's a win-win for everyone. Alright then folks, well that's the trick I wanted to show you. Hopefully it's uh, going to help you out in your adventure. And thanks for joining me today. If you have enjoyed watching the video, please do leave a like. And let me know in the comments section as well what you think of this trick and if you're going to be using it regularly. Personally, I'm probably going to be saving my pet powers now, mostly to do this. Uh, but hey, you don't have to, of course. That's entirely up to you. Alright, thanks for joining me today, guys. I'll see you next time and have a great day. Goodbye.